Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Relate and Create with Mary. Um, I'm glad to have you with me and you are going to be seeing me do yet another review with some of the uh, Arteza pouring acrylics. Um, but they're not the only ones I'm going to use because I didn't have all the colors that I wanted to do for this video. Um, I thought since Valentine's Day is coming up, I would try and do a Valentine inspired pour. So I actually had, I knew I had these, I just didn't get them out for a very long time. Um, so I had to search for them, but I had this set of graduated hearts and I thought, ooh, that will be cool. So we're gonna give this a go. Um, my first time doing anything with a cookie cutter. Um, and I'm trying to figure out where to place my hearts. I'm not sure if I should go uh, like that or kind of off-center these. I think would be really cute. That one's got some ridges on it, so that would be really cute. Um, or shall we go this way? Which I think would actually make a very nice painting. Um, I may go this way. Do something like that. Okay? Um, so first of all, I want to tell you about the push pins I'm using. We had another, there was another artist on and, and, and I realized that she she shared with us um, new push, push pins she got because I don't know about you all, but when I go to get, put mine in my um, canvas, I have a heck of a time if I don't bend them first off. So I just wanted to share that with you. These are, uh, I got these on Amazon, professional push pins, because they are stainless steel. And let me tell you, they went in like a dream. Just took a hammer and boom, 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 I was done. So if you're interested in push, and, and it comes in this big thing, so you have plenty to work with. Okay, um, now the paints I'm gonna be using, I will go through it as I pour because some are gonna be the Arteza pouring um, acrylics. Uh, and there's not much in these bottles, so I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. The rest that I'll be using, I had to mix up. Let me show you my consistency here. This is a pearl pink, and I wasn't sure what this color would turn out like, but my gosh, it's really pretty. And you can see, if you can see my consistency there, Leaves just a teeny, teeny bit of a mound. Um, and I tried to get these as close to the Arteza pouring colors as possible because you do want your paints to be all the same consistency. So the paints that I had to mix were mixed with about three quarters of paint and the rest would be with Floetrol. I'm not putting any silicone in any of these paints because I, I really don't want cells in this, um, on this canvas for the hearts. And this is a uh, 11 by 14 wrapped canvas. I did uh, tape my edges on the back. I don't mind at all the paint running on the sides. I like that. I, I like that it gives the painting kind of a finished touch. So um, with all that said, Let's get to pouring. I'm going to flood my canvas first with white, which is my own um, white because the, these are Tisa paints I'm going to show you. Once again, there are 36 pouring acrylic colors and uh, they only come in these two ounce bottles so you really don't get much paint out of these but you don't get as many paintings 
out of these bottles as you'd probably like because as you know with fluid art you need a whole lot of paint so um, there's those and I got the um, pearl pink which is this by Arteza and it came from this pack of metallic Arteza acrylic colors um, which I really really love because they're all metallics and you can see here how many different colors you get so I was excited about that so that's the pearl pink the other one that I have the the purple is going to be dioxazine violet which I just happened to pick up um, on clearance at Joanne Fabrics um, and my white is just an acrylic white mixed with Floetrol so that's that uh, oh and silver I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, silver in there which I already had mixed up and that is probably three-fourths paint and the rest Floetrol and then I can thin it to whatever consistency I want and I haven't decided yet. I don't know if I should put a Cupid Zero through the hearts, but we'll see after um, we see what we actually get. If I do, it will be by Deco Art. Uh, I do love the metallic Deco Art um, paints. They're just really, really vivid, great metallic look and shine. Um, and this jar goes a long way, a long way. Okay, let me get flooding. I've got several here, and I've already given them a good shake. So let me make sure I get all my edges, and I'm gonna be using up the whole of this bottle. So I'll have to mix up more for that. And I've got plenty more white here. I'm not even going to squirt. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on here. Let's see how we get. And if you all don't know, this is that really awesome spatula that a lot of uh, the artists, pouring artists are using. And it is all that and a bag of chips, really. <laughs> it's very, very very easy to spread your spread on your canvas with this uh, spatula it's fantastic actually um, I do have my torch for popping bubbles and I am a lefty yes I am and I just drip paint on my rug um, so now I'm gonna switch to my right hand get this on here that's like a perfect that was like the perfect amount I'm seeing lots of bubbles I will be going over my edges just to touch them up a little bit along the way wipe my hand a little bit I hope you all can hear me um, because I noticed on my first video I was not able my you weren't able to hear my voice I was simply using my phone which I am now but my husband God bless him he went and got me a tripod and microphone and um, all kind of stuff to make this legit for all of you so that you can hear and see everything properly. Because why not, right? Um, we share our tips and our tricks and it's nice if when, when artists share how they actually make their videos um, and the equipment that they use, because it happens to be very important when you're really trying to show and teach people um, these methods so 
I'm not gonna worry too much about it going over the sides. I just want this kind of level. So if I miss anything, I'll put some white down. Which I think I will do right now. Just a little bit on the sides here. I missed. A little bit there. And whatever. Drips, drips. No big deal. Okay. Let me torch out some of these bubbles because there's quite a few. I did give the whites uh, and the silver really good shakes because they had been sitting there for a while. And uh, another reason to use them. And lots of bubbles here. No big deal. I'll just get those popped. I don't want to ruin my heart. And guys, this is a first for me, so you're, um, again, you're going to be uh, learning along. I'm learning along with you, I should say, because I've never done this before with cookie cutters. Um, so let me place down my, my big heart. Yes, I have a big heart. Okay, let's put that one there. I will do want a teeny one, so let's do it like this and see what we come up with. I'm purposely, yes, I am purposely putting them at an angle. It gives it a little bit uh, more uh, unique look. So, I'm gonna start pouring my paints in. Um, let me show you the paints I'm using. This is actually a um, folk art garnet, folk art garnet, and Joanne's had a, a sale on these, 10 for 10, so you know we gotta grab those at that price. Um, then we've got Arteza Crimson Red. There's the Arteza Crimson Red. Really nice, intense red. Okay. We've got the Pearl Pink that I told you already, the Arteza Acrylic Pearl Pink. Then we have the Dioxazine Purple, and this is by Creative Inspirations. I've never used their paint before, but we'll see. I love the color. And the silver is also going to be the Deco Art Metallic, um, which I have already mixed up in the bottle. So let's get to pouring. Um, I think we'll start with um, the Garnet. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. Oh, and I will be using some Mars Black, which is the Arteza Pouring Paint Mars Black. Uh, if you've noticed, um, I've actually got my paints in these little um, uh, yogurt glass things, and I'm beginning to love it because... Uh, you can see when you get clumps. I'm gonna try it. This is the pearl pink. And I'll start this one with pearl pink. The dioxazine purple. And we'll start this one with the dioxazine purple. Okay. Let's go with some silver. Break up 
these colors all at the same time. And the scarlet red. I'm sorry, crimson red. I love metallics and I really wanted to do this in all metallics, but then I thought, hmm, maybe not this time, maybe next time. Let's add a little bit of Mars Black. Just a little bit. I don't like when black takes over um, your painting, so I'm going to go with I don't want to muddy that up. Let's see. Let's go back with the garnet here. If you don't want to see me pour, you can always fast forward. I don't blame you. For those of you who have seen this a million times, I just had someone come to my door and drop something off, so <laughs> I hate to be rude. I couldn't go there. Okay, let's get some, let's get a little dab of white in there. Just because I feel like it. to our crimson red. Man, I really hope this turns out right. <laughs> Good. Um, and of course, all the pieces that you see uh, on my Relate and Create page on Facebook are for sale. I just saw a glob come out of there and that I don't like that. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. What I didn't use. I'm going to do a little bit of this neon pink. The RT is a pouring paint. Let's see. Give me that a little pop. Let's go with a little. Let's try their brilliant red. I mean, what the heck? You know? I mean, it's Valentine's. Ugh, it's not open yet. Um, why not, right? I mean, you can't go wrong if you're staying in the same family. So, we'll see. Brilliant red Arteza. Woo, yeah, that looks brilliant, all right. I don't know if you all can tell. Okay, a little bit more black. Just a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I really like music, so if, you, if I do start doing lyrics, you'll know why. Ooh, this is starting to move, getting cells. Whoa, okay. Let's go with, um, let's try some Cerise Pink. Pouring. Artiz is pouring. We're getting quite a bit of paint here. It doesn't look like it from these, the big one, but um, let's get our silver going here again. Oops, that was a mistake. And go with 
the garnet. Yeah, these other ones are getting pretty full. And then let's top it off with white. <laughs> Actually, let's do a dab of Brilliant Red to top it off. Just a dab. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to see how this works. I'm seeing some canvas here again. I've been having problems with these canvases. Oops, I just touched the red. That's okay. Uh, now the paint is not wanting to stick to the edges, and I am so not sure why. So if anybody else has had that issue, please share with me. Uh, it's probably the canvas. I'm not sure. I know my paints are okay. Okay, here we go with pouring. I mean, I'm sorry, tilting. Okay, I'm actually going to try and move these around a little bit, if they will. But you know what, they probably won't. So, here goes. And I do have enough paint left over here that I can probably um, do another painting. Just moving some things out of the way so I can put these hearts down. Okay, big heart. Hmm, they're staying. Let me tilt this one. Oh, well, you know, let's try and make them all the same. Medium heart, whoa. And baby heart. Oh, I already like the. Ooh, I'm liking those. Okay, we're not getting much of a heart thing going on here, so let's do some. I love that little one. Look at the cells that are coming out of there already. Okay, I'm impressed with that. Let's bring this back to the middle. Because that upper right to you, left to me, is not looking too heart-shaped. But we'll see what happens. Bring it down a little bit. Let's bring this back. I don't want to lose that little heart. And I won't mine any negative space, but we'll see. Oh, there's part of our heart looking. Okay, we're, we're losing our heart shapes here. And I like those cells. I may want to bring those cells down a little bit. Actually, I'm liking the negatives. Ooh, I'm liking that. This over here. Oh. Kind of liking this. Okay, we got that. Wow. I think I am going to leave that negative space. It's looking pretty cool that way. Just get that corner. Bring in a little bit of white. So that corner will flow a little better and so I don't lose my cells and 
have them get stretched all out. I don't like that. Okay, let's do this. What is that? Gosh, I hope those aren't clumps. I'll check. There we go. Okay, let's bring this back a little bit. Didn't get this much heart shape, did it? I think those are clumps I'm seeing. Let me check. it's got some weight in there which I like I like so far let me give this a torch I might be doing a little bit of embellishing here um, to kind of get a little bit of love heart shape going on with my skewer. We'll see. Let me torch. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is just so pretty. Yeah, pop and bubble. Gosh, it's so pretty. These colors are phenomenal. Yeah. So it's looking like the Artezas um, work very well with other paints. Um, there's, they seem to be getting along, playing well in the other sandbox. So I am going to attempt to get a little bit of heart shape going on here. Figure out how we can do this. be perfect right I do want to grab some of this this is a this is looking pretty good so I'm gonna go with this on the inside and try and get some of these colors go together. Feel free to let me know what you think. I'm loving that. I don't want to ruin it, so um, I like it. I like it. I don't like that little bit right there, so let me kind of get that off of there. some more white going there. Do my edges and then I will give you a close-up. <clears throat> right? I want to do a close-up. Maybe I'll just bring it closer to the camera for you. Tilt this a little bit. See if I can't get my marks to stretch. I'll just pick this up and move it closer to the camera, I guess. There we go. That was kind of hurt, like, I can't really see the lines I did, which is okay because uh, I don't like them very much. Um, okay, I'm gonna Scrape my edges a minute here and um, give you a close-up. 
I am so loving these colors, really. It looks like the pearl pink kind of got lost. And we got a teeny bit here and a teeny bit here. That's about it. And I really wanted that color to come out, but we get what we get and we just deal with it, right? I do like the negative space in the middle, in between. I think that's really good. It really sets each one off. I will probably be trying this again to see if I can actually get, I might just use one heart the big heart and see what we come up with okay actually I'll torch this not liking my lines on there at all I'm either going to I'll deal with that later. Um, but I want to show you this close up. The cells are really cool. Some are so teeny tiny. And then there's a little batch of larger ones here and around this heart. For some reason, this heart created more cells. These ones are super cool too. So let me pick this up. See it from my perspective. You can see that. I'll try and get it all in frame here. The colors are very vivid. I will say that. Let me know what you all think. And then I'm dripping. Uh -huh. Um. And thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time. I so appreciate it. Um, I did not mean for this to be so long, but I did want to let you know that I was testing out the Arteza pouring paints as well as their um, metallics and their regular acrylic paints. So um, there you go. We did lose our hearts. But don't we always lose our hearts several times throughout life? So, and we just go on, right? And that's the relate part of Relate and Create with Mary. So, have a blessed day, and I'll bring you another video soon. Thanks. And go ahead and hit subscribe. Love you all. Bye-bye.